Hey guys, Tim here from Boogie Snail Mushroom. Hope you're having a very great uh, day. And today I'll be covering uh, some fundamental tools and basic techniques uh, I apply uh, for pop rock uh, tracks. And um, I will also show you uh, great mushroom tricks that nobody will tell you about. And before we start, uh, please remember, if you have a mix that you need mastered, uh, request a quote at bsmasterin.com and uh, receive 50% off your first order. And now, let's get started. Pop uh, music and uh, rock music are often treated as a separate genres, but the distinction has always been blurred. Pop rock is best understood as a single musical form defined by the use of electric and electronic instruments, amplification and uh, related techniques. The history of uh, pop rock extends from the emergence of rock and roll in uh, the 1950s to a variety of contemporary fashions and trends. Rock, punk, soul, funk, techno, hip-hop, indie, metal, pop, and many more. Pop rock grew out of rock and roll and beat in the 1960s. This uh, term can be used to describe rock music that follows the uh, traditional rock format. Drums, guitar, bass and vocals with uh, catchy hooks, riffs and the vocals. So today I have this catchy modern electronic pop rock song with uh, powerful uh, male vocals, retro synth uh, drums, guitars and uplifting uh, chorus. First let's have a listen to a part of this uh, track before and then after mastering. Next I will show you guys my mastering chain. It is uh, completely in the box and I will cover some techniques you may apply to master your own uh, pop uh, rock tracks. For fair comparison I carry out level matched for original and uh, mastered versions. Let it burn wild, 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 wild And light up all the torches oh. Now I only think about What we're gonna do next time On the flames of love Baby, start the fire, fire, fire Cause in the dark we hear the voices let it burn wild, 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 wild And light up all the torches oh. Now I only think about What we're gonna do next time For most uh, pop rock records I find that in general the frequency response is gonna be more uh, more or less balanced and uh, wherever the tonal character or tonal density sits will sort of be unique to each individual song. The dynamic range of a pop rock uh, track can vary based on most of that variation uh, comes in the form of breakdown sections and uh, things like fade outs but for the most part there's usually a clear kind of uh, punchy focus type of uh, sound so overall uh, this is a very uh, well balanced and well put together track uh, there's nothing it uh, really stands out and um, first as you may see on the screen i 
apply uh, just a little bit of a cut at the top and a little bit of a cut at the bottom. And I use Matte Orange EQ, which is uh, perfect for this uh, filtering uh, task. I do a little high cut at uh, um, 20 kilo hertz there's uh, high frequency information in digital audio that only dogs can hear and uh, no, none of us need and uh, i do a little high pass uh, at uh, 20 uh, hertz in uh, mono portion and just um, for the low end uh, roll off uh, this uh, low uh, cut tightens up the low end and uh, next um, I deal with uh, these uh, resonances in a uh, low mid area in um, mono portion because Martinez lives exactly in this uh, low mid region and as you may see on the screen I tamed uh, this uh, 100, 116, 160, 200, uh, 260 hertz uh, uh, frequencies. So, and now let's um, have a listen to this uh, track with this Mahat Orange EQ on. Let it burn wild, 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 wild And light up all the torches oh. Now I only think about What we're gonna do next time As for additive uh, EQ and especially in this genre, I do some really broad redistribution of the frequencies to give the track richness and warmth. My um, favorite, so to say, EQ for this uh, task is Pultec, uh, EQ from Acoustica Odea. One thing the track is missing a bit is sub bass. Therefore, I boost the really sub -bass frequencies at uh, 30 hertz, uh, as you may see on the screen. It uh, really gives a nice thump. So it doesn't add rumble, it actually adds some nice roundness and uh, richness. So, and um, I keep the bandwidth at um, somewhere around uh, two. I don't want it to be too wide. And the cool thing about this EQ is I have a boost and then I have uh, this attenuation knob um, and it allows uh, cutting out some of the muddiness that, uh, that's introduced with a low frequency boost like this. And I put this um, attenuation knob at one here. And next, to get a global boost from this analog EQ that's got the juice, I boost uh, 16K and it gives that nice sparkly bright top end without being uh, too harsh. And now let's uh, have a listen to this uh, track with this uh, Pultec EQ on. In the dark we hear the voices Let it burn wild, 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 wild. And light up all the torches oh. Now I only think about What we're gonna do next time So next, I add 
Taupe from Acoustica Audio, which makes the track a little bit more solid uh, sounding. I really like to use it for saturation and it gives me a little bit more control over the character of the track. And in particular, I really like this subtle tape compression. So and now let's have a listen to this uh, track with this Taupe on. The next uh, thing I do for this uh, pop uh, rock track is uh, take care of the issue comp of uh, compression. In this uh, track I apply two different kinds of uh, compressions. First I use some glue compression, next I apply multiband compression um, on the lows and uh, low mids. So, and um, as you may see on the screen, first I use Unison Masseran Compressor as the glue compressor. I set uh, the slow attack time, which is 100 milliseconds. I set um, a 1, 5 to 1 uh, ratio, and then I pull pulled uh, the threshold down until I hear things come together. So when I pull the threshold down, it brings the kick drum closer to the bass line. And uh, what that does is that it gives the song more presence because everything is more up front because all the peaks are closer together now. And because of this uh, slow attack time and uh, fast release, which is uh, 100 milliseconds, um, and the low uh, ratio, I do not uh, crush these picks. I just bring everything clothed together. And um, I also set the sidechain filter at uh, 100 uh, hertz. So now let's have a listen to this uh, track with uh, this glue compression on. on the flames of love, baby, start a fire, fire, fire. Cause in the dark we hear the voices. Let it burn wild, 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 wild. And light up all the torches. Now I only think about what we're gonna do next time. Next, I take uh, care of the low frequencies to make this track punchy. I set um, so, and uh, for this task, I use a multiband uh, compressor from TC Electronic. And um, as you may see on the, on the screen, I set 100 milliseconds attack time and uh, 100 milliseconds uh, release time, so ratio 2 to 1. And this uh, targeted uh, compression makes the lows more focused and more clear. In this uh, genre, I always control the lows pretty uh, carefully. Now let's have a listen to this um, track again with this uh, TC Electronic um, MD4 HD compressor on. Gonna do next time. 
next time. So, and uh, finally, I use a limiter to drive everything and make everything louder and bring the sound up to a commercial level. For this task, I use my beloved DMG Limitless and uh, I am really loving uh, Limitless as it really keeps the depths of the track in um, place. It doesn't sound uh, very digital, if I can say that. It really makes a big difference to the perceived uh, depth and openness of uh, the track. So, and uh, it also brings the music a little bit uh, forward. So to say. So and now let's AB original and uh, mastered uh, versions again. So, please remember, mastering is not a fixing step, it's an enhancing step. Mastering for me is about musicality and it's in the moment, it's a performance. It's not about perfectionism. So, well, hopefully something in this video will help you to master your own tracks in this genre. So that's about it for this uh, topic. If you like my videos, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to support my channel. So have a very nice day and uh, see you next time.